Now you've probably seen this video of a truck pulling a horse trailer driving through a crowd of protesters on I-244 near downtown. Police have yet to identify that driver, but tonight a Wagner County couple says it was not them. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Neely Jones. And I'm Mark Bradshaw. Channel 8's Ethan Hutchins says a couple is still getting threats. Ethan's live in downtown Tulsa tonight with more on their side of the story. Ethan. Yeah, Mark, we have new video of the incident from a different angle and reaction from this couple about these threats. But what we are still after are crucial details of this incident that we are still waiting from law enforcement on. While investigators get closer to releasing a report, Tammy Marler and her husband, Danny Elliott, are coping with the impact of being wrongly accused on social media as the people driving the now famous red truck. I mean, what, a couple hundred <laughs> death threats later? Yeah. Um, you know, we're, you know, we're a little concerned. The couple has received death threats following this now viral incident in Tulsa Sunday when a truck reportedly drove through a crowd of protesters standing in the middle of the IDL. I was not anti-protest. I was anti-violence. I was anti-harming animals. Marler says she simply posted a reaction to the incident on social media, giving her thoughts as someone who rescues horses. And somebody got a hold of it, and from there, we were the people. And they were convinced we were the people and didn't care if we were or not at that point. In fact, the couple says people have attempted to post their address and encourage people to visit their home. <laughs> New video of the incident shows the moments the protesters move in on the truck, banging on its hood, before the driver moves forward through the crowd. The truck ultimately drove off, leaving behind several injuries. Today, we pressed authorities on the incident. Officials with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol cannot yet confirm the identity of the driver or if there were horses inside. So much anger out there. I think people actually feel justified in harming other people and animals. Meanwhile, Marler and Elliot say they've received an apology from the Facebook user who wrongly accused them. But in their minds, the damage has already been done. We'll be fine. What scares me is what's happening to society and how easily we're drawn to hate. And we are expecting an update from OHP either tomorrow or Friday. Reporting live tonight downtown, Ethan Hutchins, Tulsa's Channel 8. Ethan, thank you. Oklahoma City Mayor David Holt expressed today that he believes police tactics of de-escalation need to be reevaluated.